The next morning found me sitting on my bed waiting for the servant who was going to take me to the airport. Eric hadn't managed to get away from the crowd at all last night, and by midnight I was ready to call it a night. I still can't believe the Count was Eric. I wonder if I should see him before I leave. Then again, he's bound to be busy with all the guests getting ready to leave. It's getting kind of late. Why hasn't the guy who's taking me to the airport arrived yet? At this rate, I'll miss my flight. Dang. I was about to head into the hallway to find someone else to take me when I heard rapid knocking at my door. It's about time. <gasps> I opened the door, but instead of a servant, Eric was standing there. Oh, good you're still here. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, but seeing off the other guests took longer than I anticipated. Where would I have gone? I was waiting for the guy to take me to the airport, and he never showed. Uh, yes, that's my fault. I didn't want you to leave before we could talk. And now I'm going to miss my flight. Oh no, we can make it. Joshua is nothing if not skilled at getting from one place to another very quickly. As he said that, his head butler Joshua slips into the room to get my bags. Master Eric, perhaps you should continue this in the car. Right, we should get moving. He hesitantly placed his hand on my lower back to lead me out of the room into the waiting car. We sat silently as Joshua pulled out and started driving away from the mansion. I looked at Eric and waited for him to say something. Anything, but when he didn't, I asked the question that had been on my mind all night. Why didn't you tell me you were Eric? The same reason you didn't tell me about your background. I was worried it would make you see me differently. Would you ever have told me? Of course I would have. I just... I wanted to know that you cared for the real me and not the Eric everyone else sees. You do realize I thought Eric was pretty creepy at some stages, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. You didn't exactly hide it. You also called me hot, if I remembered correctly. You know you're hot. You have thousands of fans that tell you that. True, but there's something about hearing it from someone I care about that makes it so much better. So, you really do care? It wasn't just some prank? Why would you think that? I'm, I'm not that cruel. I would never lie about something like this. I care about you and I want to be with you, if you'll still have me. And for the record, I don't date my guests during the games, or, well, I didn't until you came along. No, you just flirt shamelessly. I'm nothing but a gentleman. I heard a snort from the driver's seat. <laughs> hey! You're supposed to be on my side! I'm always at your side, but you can hardly expect me to say quiet such a blatant lie. I watched as Eric let out an exaggerated sigh. Oh! <sighs> See? Even my butler is against me. If I was against you, you'd know it. I'm merely ensuring that you don't screw this up. I don't think the staff can handle much more of you moping around. Moping? I do not mope. Of course, Master Valdemar, you were just wandering the halls listlessly while the staff tripped over themselves trying to cheer you up. Oh, is... is that what they were doing? Of course! Why else do you think that you were so able to put together a festival overnight without any complaint? When you were suddenly happy again, they did everything in their power to keep you that way. Having you caught as a mask custom made for each guest overnight isn't something to sneeze at! And that's not even getting into the logistical nightmare of having all the booths stocked and set up in the span of a few hours. Yeah, Jesus. That Jesus festival Christ. was impromptu? Yes. Our master was in need of a reason to hide his entire face for the day. You think a famous actor would be able to keep his expression in check? I don't get it. I looked to Eric for an explanation, but he just let out a low cough and looked away. <coughs> uh we're probably getting close to the air right now, so if you have any urgent questions, you should probably get them off your chest now. Did having you and our team give us an unfair advantage? No. For the most part, I had very little to do with the actual execution of the games. 
I give out the general ideas, but the staff are the ones to put together with Joshua overseeing everything. If anything, it might have put us at a disadvantage for certain games. You're the one that wanted authentic festival games. <laughs> okay, then. Did you intentionally put us all on the same team? I noticed that you and Mamarini-san seem pretty close despite the bantering. I did, well, with the exception of Mr. Wolfie, but that worked out for the best. Any other team in it would have looked like he spent the entire event trying to avoid being groped. Oh, poor Wolfie. Aw. Mamarooni-san and I go way back. I wanted to spend my last game on his team, at least. Then you wanted to see him flip out over her skill sheet. <laughs> <laughs> that too. So that was the reason I was on your team? Should I say that I wanted to spend time with the cute enigma that won my contest? You were the only the one chosen out of more than a million entrants. I wanted to see what you were like in person. Why even host that contest? I could have been a master thief or a murderer or something. And that's why Joshua did a full background check on the winner. Wait, what? How much do you know? Me? Nothing besides what I discovered during the games. I trust Joshua's judgment, and he gave you the go-ahead. I didn't even know you were so cute until I got the skill sheet when the game started. Right, there's just one more thing that's bugging me. Hmm? Your body devil. Was it ever him that I spoke to when I thought it was you? With the exception of yesterday. The two of you were never within speaking distance. All he needed to do was utter a single word and the secret would have been out. What? Why? Our vocal registers aren't on the same frequency. Any time he had to make an announcement or appearance, I'd have to pre-record the message. That's not something I could successfully do with conversations. So he never actually spoke to the guests. So it was always you. It was always you falling for me. It was always me. I let out a sigh of relief. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I was worried for a moment I might have fallen for the body double and that being here with you was a mistake. Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to let any fake take my place. Good. Don't think you'll ever be able to get out of doing something with me by sending him. I'd never dream of it. There's no way I'd send another guy to get cozy with my girl. Master Valdemar was Finkelbottom, we've arrived. Joshua pulled the car to a stop. Uh, already? But there's so much more, I... He has a flight to catch and you'll see her soon enough. I love his little pout. I do too. Eric and Joshua shared a silent look before Joshua let out an exasperated sigh. Ha! <laughs> we still have to check in our bags, Master Valdemar. You can talk on the way. Joshua pulled my bags along behind him, ignoring all the glares Eric sent his way. Eric sighed and turned to me as we quickly followed. <sighs> so, are you still... Do you want to be with me? I stopped suddenly at his question. Hmm. I watched as his eyebrows furrowed with worry. You really are having second thoughts, aren't you? I mean, I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, but I knew it'd change everything, and... I grabbed both sides of his face and pulled him down. I watched his <gasps> eyes widen as our lips met before pulling back. Does that answer? He pulled me back to him before I could even finish speaking, and leaned in with a more insistent kiss. Perhaps you should save this for a more private setting. <laughs> Very in tune with the moment. I quickly pulled away from Eric and felt myself flush with embarrassment. I completely lost track of where we were. Photos of that are probably going to sell for thousands. Oh, jeez. True. Oh! You think <laughs> you can get me a copy? That shouldn't be a problem. Hey, that is a problem. A really big problem. You don't want people to know about us? Are you ashamed of me? I don't want to be hounded by paparazzi and strangers every waking moment. Do you have any idea what your fan base will do to me if they find out? It, your fan base is quite formidable, sir. I'm the administrator on the website. <laughs> oh, fine. We'll keep it a secret, but I'm still getting that photo. But people have already. Don't worry about that, Miss Finkelbottom. 
We have our ways. It's called murder. <laughs> right now, though, you should get going. Your plane will leave soon. I suddenly noticed some men who seemingly appeared out of nowhere start to usher the gathering crowd away from us. Come on. They won't be able to hold them back for long. He grabbed my hand and led me to the departure gate. This isn't goodbye. We're going to make this work. You hear me? He softly put his hand to my face. I'll visit you soon. Be prepared. He gave me another kiss before I had to board the plane. He stood there smiling at me until I could no longer see him. Finally, that plane ride took forever! I'm trying to read that international airport sign in the background. I, I see Angry like Birds and It's More Fun in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I followed everyone out to the luggage area. I scanned the area for Mira as I collected my bags. <gasps> By the time I spotted her, she was already striding up to me. Was her hair was in a ponytail before, right? No, it was in like a messy bun. Oh, okay. Hey, Mir. You kissed Eric? Oh, boy. How did- It's all over the internet. I thought they said they'd take care of that. Oh, crap. Everyone's going to- Calm down. There weren't any obvious pictures and no one had any idea who you were. Except me. Seriously, though, why didn't you tell me? Can we talk about this at home? My eyes darted around nervously at the, sen at the attention we were starting to gather. Fine. But as soon as we get there, you're going to spill. I want every little detail. As soon as we got home, Mira locked the door and pounced on me. Now what happened? Don't hold anything back. Last I heard, you were regretting ditching some actor guy. You never said he was Eric. In fact, you apply it wasn't him. That's because I didn't know it was Eric. How do you not know? He was in costume and we never exchanged names and... Couldn't have looked that different in costume. I don't watch as much TV as you. Most of the guests couldn't tell either. Heck, even Mama Rooney's son didn't realize it until it was almost over, and they apparently go way back. Mira stopped hyperventilating enough for me to explain what happened. When I finished, she squealed with delight. Ah! <laughs> it's like a movie. You're so lucky. I knew you'd nab some hot guy while you were there, but damn, you really hope to big one. I... Someone knocked on the door, and I took the opportunity to get a break from Mira's excited questions about Eric. <gasps> Only to come face to face with him while I opened the door! <gasps> That's so cute! Oh <laughs> I told you I'd see you soon. Uh. <laughs> no! 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 Give me more! No! You can't act like that! <laughs> <laughs> the eyes of someone else too scared to speak It's the voice of someone that I'm not In a daze of state I brought upon myself A mistake I live for days like today Seems like this time is a lie Please stay a while
Oh wow, I didn't even know there was an endings option. So there's, ha! Huh. We have Wolfie, so we got Wolfie good ending, Bandages good ending, and Count good ending. And then fan art. <gasps> People drew fan art. <laughs> oh, oh, this is adorable. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want. I don't. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> that was my favorite route. It was? I think so. I mean, look, look. We obviously, we know that Wolfie is my type, okay? Uh-huh. Wolfie's my type. But, Wolfie didn't give me, I mean, I, no, no, no look, look, I love Wolfie. Like, don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, what is the word? I'm not bashing Wolfie, but Count had the sad, lonely guy thing and gave me the big feel. <laughs> I just I I respond so much and also it's oh cause he's look first of all he's gotta be the true end there's no fucking way he's not the true end yep I think so too the true end is always where you find out about the secrets of the rest of the story and like what happened <laughs> plus he's the host of the whole thing he's the catalyst for the entire story yeah exactly I'm like I I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm shocked to, obviously, because I, obviously I went into it being like, oh god, it's gonna be Eric, ha, like Eric from Seduce Me, except no, it's Eric from this game. <laughs> and then I fell in love with him. What about you? What was your favorite? I think I liked, um, Bandages and Count equally. Probably because they're both my type. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, Bandages. And I, I liked mean, both of their stories. I, like, I liked Bandages, but he's also, he's just not my type, so he didn't click with me as well. But, like, see, because, like, well, as, as it turned out, it turned out that Count is one of my types, which is the sad, lonely guy <laughs> <laughs> who gives me feelings. Yeah, my type is basically, like, either the Sundere or the flirty guy with the heart of gold. Well, like, I like, I mean, I usually like Sundere's, but I don't know, he just didn't do it for me. I mean, I no, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I liked him during the route, but I'm like, he wasn't like a top favorite. I liked, I liked Mamaruni San and and the Count the best. I think. I do think. I mean, here's the thing. Wolfie is my type. I do think he had the least amount of conflict, though. Like, I do think that Mamaruni San. Yeah, I and... felt like his. Um, I don't know if this is maybe me thinking that like it's not his type and it just didn't click with me, but I felt like his character mm. and his arc was the weakest. Oh no, I to trust me, I agree with that. I do think, I do believe that. Like, Which is I do not to say that all of the stories aren't good. They're all good. No, I just, no, I agree with that. I don't think, I mean, that's part of the reason why I say that Count is my favorite is that while Wolfie is like 100% my type, he didn't have much of a character arc really. It was kind of just like him being, I'm gonna become braver for Miss Archer and assert myself more, which is good. But it was a very, it was a very subtle story. It didn't have, high catharsis high stakes yeah like i'm gonna have a stronger reaction to the one that makes me that gives me like stronger feelings like and again like i'm not saying anything honestly i love this game when we went into this game i did not think i would love this game i thought it was i'm gonna be honest i thought it was gonna be shitty because i'm an asshole <laughs> <laughs> but i love this this is honestly honestly it's it's really well done i love this game i love this game and i don't want to say goodbye and i know like there's oh, okay I saw people saying that there's a general route where you're with Ice Queen, sort of, but it's not a romance route, but I also don't know how vastly different it would be from the rest of this, so I don't know, like, is it worth doing another run? I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess we can leave that to our viewers. If you really, really want us to do the general route so we can get the scenes with Ice Queen, let us know in the comments. I love this game and i'm really excited for valentine's otome to come out we're definitely gonna play that when it comes out i'm so excited someone, someone wanted us to play it and i was like why would you it's do that it's not out and yet like, it's not out it was, yet it was, i'm like it was, no it was supposed to come out on valentine's day this year but it's not at was... it's not at the quality where they're comfortable releasing it yet so they want to make it yeah. the best it can be so 
Perfect. It's not out yet, we'll, but yeah. we're definitely going to play it when it comes out, and I'm really, really excited. I, Dev, these, these writers are very good. Game dev cycles are hell, people. Oh, before yeah. Before you're even in a AAA game. <laughs> it's not easy, trust me. I'm excited, you're excited, we're all excited. We all scream. You know what's, what, you know what's gonna be fun about this one? Hmm? I'm Mira. Yeah, yeah, Lid gets to voice the main character this time. I get to be the protagonist! Which means I get to do my shitty guy voices. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you sticking with us through these whole series. We it love you. We love you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.